Hey guys, how are we doing? So welcome back to another episode of Fishing Life Awashi. It's gonna be the last day of fishing of this year. So today we have three people on board and all of them want to get some fish for Oshogatsu, the New Year holidays. And today's main target is Kuroguchi, but we're also gonna do some other fishing before the current slowed down. So let's get started. <laughs> he got his first fish of the day. And so did I. It's fish on. It takes time to see the fish because it's coming up from 160 meter deep. You know, it's amazing that this day one of my friends was using a normal reel, which means he had to reel in for more than 160 meters. That takes so much effort. The rig that I was using this day was two hook bottom rig with mackerel slices bait. And the reel that I was using was Seaborg Daiwa with 25 pound main line and 30 pound floral line as leader. So these are what we got this day. It wasn't a lot, but we all got the fish for Oshogatsu. I think the best way to eat Kuroguchi is definitely a buri. A buri is one of sashimi methods, but they leave the skin on and torch the skin. So when the skin is torched, the oil from the meat is coming up to the surface that makes the fish so delicious. The taste is richer and the texture is more crispy. Just making sure there are no scales left on the skin. Cutting off the head. Drawing a guideline for filleting, then go deeper just little by little until the knife reaches the spine. Then separate the fillet from the spine. As the next step, you gotta separate the rib cage.
And the next step, you gotta take out the pin bones. Just checking how far the pin bones exist. Because for most fish, there are no pin bones below the rib cage. Carving the skin, because when it's torched, the skin is shrunk. So this process is quite important to maintain the fillet beautiful, even after being torched. Then put it in the fridge for only a few minutes. 